Hi guys, how, how are you guys everybody doing today? And as I mentioned, you guys, I will um, give you the review on the college and universities. And so for today, um, I'll talk about um, one of the CUNY colleges, uh, New York City College of Technology, which is known as City Tech. So <clears throat> today I'll, I'll talk about the City Tech. I'll, I'll give you the, re uh, the review of City Tech and um, City Tech actually located in, in the Lower Manhattan and 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 uh, just near to the Brooklyn Bridge. So it's in the middle of it's like uh, um, Manhattan and the Brooklyn, and so it's a beautiful location. There's lots of um, a very um, uh, very good offices around, like um, J P Morgan Chase office and the Supreme Court just next to there. And so it's a beautiful locations and very um, you know crowded locations. And all you know, City Tech have like five different campuses. So um, uh, uh, I think it's nine campuses. So and uh, uh, so one of my favorite campuses is the Nam Hall and the, the new or uh, the, their new uh, academic building, which is um, if you guys, I'll give you the pictures and is fantastic. So for the City Tech, the, all you have to know that City Tech is a uh, four years college and uh, they have lots of majors. So um between these majors uh three or four majors is really really famous which makes the city tag really famous uh which is um i would say computer systems or um dental hygienics and um recently they actually um start data science and data analytics and um and so on so I'll I'll go to, I'll I'll take you to the uh, city tech website and I'll I'll explain you each and everything so one thing uh, is that the for international students, uh, if you want to apply in City Tech, you just have to go to the City Tech website. City Tech website is the one of the best website I ever seen in my life because uh, this website is well maintained and um, one of the richest website I ever seen. Because I, 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 my research, I was uh, going through different kind of key websites, um, but with respect to everyone, the, I would say the City Tech is the best website so let's jump into the website and um, let's see uh, what are the courses they have and um, what are the options actually you guys have to study here and as international students all the local students so let's go and watch you guys so guys um, let's look at the city tech website and city tech website is one of my favorite because uh, this um, website is really um, straightforward and uh, as like it's not very really critical and everything is well explained you can see the dashboard here and um, how many students enrolled and uh, bachelors and associate levels and so this is pretty much uh, one of the rich website I ever seen and I've been to a um, couple of website but the city tech website really got my attention because um, this is uh, so beautiful and very well organized um, website. So let's go through each and every uh, thing. What I say is about us is the college facts, college leadership, city tech news, partnerships, and direction and maps. Uh, and then the admission department, the admission section, there you have apply, teachings and fees, financial aid, dates, and deadlines. And academies, you have like a different kind of academic um, advising, academic calendars and how many academic departments City Tech have and then their college catalog and area of studies, library and schedule of classes. So the campus life, you have like a first semester advisement. So every student or the, every freshman have to go to the advisement or their first semester. It does the mandatory, otherwise you're not, uh, not allow, allowed to uh, register your class without uh, advisement. Student services, how many student services they have, counseling and student government, campus safety, the quick links. They actually give you the links of uh, CUNY First. Um, CUNY First actually use uh, to register for the classes and all those. Like you, when you graduate, you have to apply your graduation through CUNY First. And so CUNY First is really important for CUNY. And 
we have a student email so every college has different email system city tech have their own email system and then like a degree works degree works is show you how many uh, classes you left and how many classes you already taken and which class you have to take and all those so um once you done once you've done your first semester you can actually go to the degree works and uh, you can check what class do you need uh, to get your, your degree blackboard is like online platform nowadays it's really popular because of because of covid uh, uh, people are staying home and then they use the blackboard to attend their class and every every uh, teachers are are post their assignments and um, class lectures through the blackboard and um, you have academic advising, academic advising, college calendar, open lab, and then for information tab, we have like um, alumni and friends, faculty staff, current students, and about us, you already talk about that. So uh, let's go through actually uh, the area and studies. This is the, the most important is to what kind of degree they actually have. So let's look at that. This is very beautifully well organized website. So, oh, when you see this kind of website, you just feel like this. Go through and uh, find out more about this. So, <clears throat> City Tech is really famous because of his um, computer system co uh, degrees. It's a bachelor's. Computer, they, although they have computer science, but this is associate. So computer system, they have associate and they have bachelors. And recently they uh, introduced the data science and data analytics, which is very recent and it wasn't here last semester, but so it's very recent. And, to, and the best was dental hygienics. So CGD have like huge building for dental hygienics and they have like very uh, beautiful labs and all those dental hygienics. So a few, few of my friends actually, uh, suggest me to uh, to uh, go to uh, to visit their campus, and I went there actually, and then I see uh, how beautiful the campus is. They have like and that entertainment technology. Uh, they have recently they introduced the VR technologies and uh, and and yes. So I, I would suggest if you want to apply in City Tech. Uh, you definitely should you should have uh, you should see this computer system or data science or data analytics or the dental hygienic courses although they have many other measures but this couple of uh, measures are really really famous uh, and like most of the students actually uh, they uh, take in this kind of courses so let's see actually what kind of computer system so this is a computer system course that they have associates and they have bachelors and they have a bachelors in data science which is really brand new so so let's go to the bachelors of computer system so over overview so these all are the tracks they have a database tracks they have a networking security tracks they have an it operation and software development for the degree requirement so for the degree requirement you have to take all of these courses yeah, so this all are check which which are, suppose I if I chose the database track, it will show you this kind of um, course you have to take uh, to fulfill your degree requirement. Let's uh, go through the their international services. What are the, the I think it's more important for international student. There you go. So. This is the international student tag, so you take international students and let's go to the home section. So here you go. So it's pretty much straightforward. We have um, incoming students uh, who try to apply in the, this is for prepare to apply. So it doesn't mean that you apply in the college. So once you get approved, you have to come to this section and you have to apply your I-20. So it's not about the college, it's, it's just only your I-20. So incoming students if you follow these tracks you will definitely <clears throat> this website really helpful so the incoming students sections actually um, when, um, when you have to prepare to apply session there and they will I'll tell you uh, for international st students what kind of uh, um, score do you need in IELTS and uh, if you take a TOEFL you know like a paper based or internet based TOEFL so all those requirements actually you need to apply in the Q, uh, in the city tech so that means you need to get at least IELTS 6 uh, is the minimum so if you get 6 is very less um, possibility to 
to get into CD tag, you need to get at least 6.5 or 7 to get into CD tag college. Um, otherwise, um, 6 is the minimum requirement, but don't go above the minimum. Try to get at least 6.5, so which helps you to get into CD tag very easily. For the current IS, which means the current international students, um, they, they have a useful information for maintaining status, uh, reduce course load. This means that every student, international student, they have to take 12 credit, uh, 12 credit per semester. So in case if you take nine credits or um, I would say seven or eight credits, then you have to apply reduce course load. So to be an international student, is really hard. You have to follow lots of rules, employment, international resources, and living in an OIC. And um, <clears throat> so the Vanessa Bellanova actually, uh, the director of international student services, and here are her contact informations. And if you're not making a schedule with her to visit her office, you have to make a schedule. Uh, you can't really uh, walk, walk into his office. He, she's not allowed to uh, any walking appointment. Um, let's go to their tuition and fees. Okay, so there's actually for uh, for international uh, international students, you have to uh, pay like six hundred twenty dollar dollars per credit, which means uh, um, I al already told you that you have to spend like uh, nine thousand six hundred pounds for uh, every semester. And this is for the uh, residents, like uh, local students, they have paid that much amount. So you can see the difference there. That's office and service. So you have um, office and service there. So every they give you every office information. And you, if you need to, um, if you need to contact with any um, uh, your department, you have to just simply go there and get their phone number or fax number and just call them, um, which is really impressive. And let's talk about the dates and deadlines. So, so dates and deadlines so fresh for February of a fall semester. February first is the deadline, and for the spring semester, September fifteenth is the deadline. So, let's go to the apply. Actually, what you did so. How to apply as a freshman applicant and transfer to a senior citizen. So everything is there. You just, uh, I'm really amazed to see this website actually. Just how they maintain the website is really, really impressive. Wow. So after you even after you apply, oh God. So you, they will tell you what to do after you, after you apply. So they will guide you each and everything. So this building actually I was talking about the dental hygienics. So this whole building, um, actually they built for dental hygienic courses. So it's very impressive. And the academic course. I will see the academic calendars. Yes, there you go. The academic calendars. So you can download the um, academic calendars if I see uh, the spring 2020 classes meeting, it's been 2021. So yeah, so this, this is the which date, what do you have to do? The academic calendars is like um, explain you everything. So February 18 is the President's Day, college closed. And February 12 is Lincoln's birthday, college closed. And when you, uh, you know, um, when you, when you drop any classes, so uh, for 50% tuition fee refund, once you drop the class before February 9th. So, so all those things is very, very impressive. Very, very impressive. I mean, I'm so impressed that um, they have very well organized uh, website, registration office hour, even they have, nowadays they have Zoom virtual office hours because of COVID. I hope that after COVID, this will go away. This website actually, if you follow, if you want to apply, apply to the City tag. You just simply apply from here Be uh, before we apply uh, CUNY portal. But now the CUNY policy has been changed, so you have to apply it through each and every college. So this is my um, small review on City tag, and um, let me know in the comment section how you guys think about it, and if you are considering uh, applying City tag or what kind of measures you like. Although they have lots of measures that go through, and let me know what kind of measures do you like. Uh, I know that everybody has a different opinion. So website, if you can't find it, let me know in the comment sections and I'll definitely get back to you. Till then, um, thank you guys and have a good day.